unpopular opinion. I honestly hate doing upper body. So every time it's upper body day, it's kind of like a drag to come because I just don't find upper body fun. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I know other females that love doing upper body, but for some reason I just, eh, if I could skip it, I would. I made it to the gym, but I am feeling a little anxious and I think it's because I have to go to that dermatologist appointment after and I'm nervous about what they're gonna say. Being an adult sucks because you have to pay for health insurance, all these other things, but like specifically I have to pay almost $500 to go see a dermatologist. So let me go inside and get my upper body done and over with. Hopefully that makes me feel a little better. I'll see you guys after my workout. So I just finished cardio and of course these shoes were super uncomfortable to wear. So I'm definitely gonna need to buy me another pair of cardio shoes. So for upper body, I like to start off with four exercises to warm up. Alright guys, I'm done with my workout. Now I have to quickly head over to my appointment because it takes like 30 minutes to get to my appointment. Let me start the car and head over there now because I don't want to be late. Of course, I had to get my Starbucks. I was out and I didn't eat anything. So, and it's already 3.35, so that's my excuse. Oh yeah, so the dermatologist. Let me tell you how that went. I went to the dermatologist and basically I spent almost $300. I did get some information, but there's no magic pill or magic treatment that I can do to stop the hair loss. If I wanted to stop the hair loss, I would have to be on Rogaine. And I've researched Rogaine before and I've heard mixed things. She said that that's the treatment that you I would have to take for six months and if I were to get pregnant or if I'm thinking about getting getting pregnant that I shouldn't do it so I decided not to even not to even do that that's that she did tell me what kind of hair loss I have and it's tel telogen effluvium it's telogen effluvium I believe that's how you pronounce it she basically said that it's chronic shutting I don't know I don't think there's anything that I can do to stop the shedding, but I'm going to be taking my vitamins. I am going to be using ketoconazole. She did prescribe me with keto ketoconazole for my hair. It's like an anti-dandruff shampoo. She said that could help prevent less hair from falling. So I'm gonna give it a try and see if that helps, but she also did mention that I can take prenatals. Other than that, there's really nothing. I just have to keep seeing what works for my hair and what doesn't it is really hot today let me take you guys out of here because you guys are going to fall happy thursday everyone today is my favorite day of the week and of course it is leg day we are focusing on hamstrings today oh gosh the garbage truck is here it's really hot today i am burning up i might show you a few exercises i do at the gym i had bought this magnetic holder on etsy i've been using it at the gym already and it's honestly so good i'm glad i bought it i can just stick it on any machine and just not have to worry about my camera and the angles and everything like that this is so worth it <coughs> to me because i like to record my workouts then after that after the gym i have to pick up my prescription the shampoo that the dermatologist prescribed me and i also have i'm no, I don't have to go to the mall, but I want to go to the mall. I want to go to Sephora and see what they have. I've been getting back into makeup recently. I want to pick up a few things from Sephora. And my birthday is next month, so I'm thinking of doing a photo shoot. I don't know if I'm going to pay someone to do the photo shoot or if I am just going to do the photo shoot for myself at home. But that is what I want to do. Um, I'm also going away for my birthday back to Jersey. It was either 
go to Jersey or go see Bad Bunny and I honestly was stuck in between the two because I really want to go see Bad Bunny but I've been missing my dad lately so I was just like you know what I could watch Bad Bunny maybe some other time but I want to go see my dad so that's what I'm going to be doing sadly I'm not going to Bad Bunny's concert but not so sad because I'm gonna go see my dad let's head over to the gym <laughs> done with the gym it was an okay workout it was okay it was kind of hard to focus i was also trying to set up this camera and there was quite a few people in there so i i try to be discreet but it's an open space people are going to look so i didn't get my whole workout on camera i got a few clips and i try to play with the angles because like i said i did get the magnet i'm gonna link it down below in the description so you guys can check it out my hair is like coming apart i am going to go pick up my prescription now because i'm literally right here so i'm gonna go do that and then i'm gonna head home be with my dogs eat something and then head over to the mall i'm excited to go made it to the mall so much traffic it took me 30 minutes to get here but we're here it's hot so i'm gonna head inside and go shopping at Sephora. I'm excited. I don't know. I just started getting back into makeup. And like I said, my birthday's coming up. So I want my makeup to look good. All right. So I did buy a few things from Sephora mostly mini items because i am going to be traveling so i decided to get mini items but i got the house labs by lady gaga i got the foundation and i'm very excited to try it i heard a lot of good things and it's not new it's old but i'm excited to try it and the other mini stuff that i got i honestly shouldn't have even gotten makeup because i did purchase a few items when they had their sephora sale online so i probably shouldn't have even went in Sephora and bought more stuff but I did I got the um, Givenchy Givenchy is that how you pronounce it I don't know but I got their mini um, powder I heard good things about this too and they only had shades 2 and 4 or 2 and 5 I was hoping to get the powder that was for light to medium skin tones but I got the one that's for fair to light skin tones so I'm excited to try this out heard good things about this another thing that i got is the anastasia brow freeze gel and i got the mini i've tried the one that comes in a pod and i really like that one but that one i i finished it completely what else did i get so i'm excited to try that because with the pod you have to have a brush with it and it gets messy so that's why i didn't get the pod again i also picked up the hourglass concealer and I heard really, really good things about this. I actually have it on one side of my face now. I don't know if you can tell. This doesn't have it. This one does. When the girl who helped me at Sephora put it on me and I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks really, really, really good. So I had to pick it up. She said that it dries super fast, so you have to quickly go in and blend it. But when she put it on i was like i i'm getting it i was actually going to get the bigger one but i'm like you know what i do have other concealers at home that i use and i don't want to waste those so i just picked up the mini one and if i truly 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 like it i'll pick up the bigger one and last but not least I got the Milk Grip Primer and I heard good things about this too. The reason that I got it is because I've been watching Nikki LaRose. She's like a makeup artist on YouTube and she says that 
this works really really good i was gonna get the smashbox photo finish but they didn't carry it at the sephora so it's only online so i was like you know what I, this is here i'm just gonna get this one so i'm gonna try this one out and i was gonna pick up a eyeshadow palette but those are pretty expensive and i wanted a travel one i'm excited to go ahead and try the makeup out i might just do my makeup today for no reason <laughs> But um, I'm gonna head home now, so I'll see you guys at home. <laughs> Are you scared of this camera? <laughs> I have been home for a few hours now. I made some carrot juice. Made some carrot juice. Got a mess right here. Put the carrot juice in there. I think it took me almost an hour to do this carrot juice because I had to peel the carrots, cut them, cut the oranges, the apples, all that. But guys, I put on the makeup and tell me what you guys think if it is a match. When I first applied it, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I love it. This side, I don't have anything on this side, just the concealer from when that girl put the Hourglass Vanish concealer on. That's all I have on this side. I do have the House Labs foundation on this side and the Vanish Hourglass Concealer. I used the um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I pretty much used everything that I bought today. I like it. I think it does match. But of course, I still gotta play around with it and see if I actually do do love it. I got the shade 175 Light Neutral. So I'm excited. I am definitely going to be taking that foundation if I do end up really loving it to my trip. But I'm calling it a night. I am tired. I still have to cook and it's 9 p.m. So I have work tomorrow too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to love yourself and to stay active. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.